Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Either way, I appreciate the support. Now, I received a request for a video on invitation wording from Bison Plays. So Bison Plays, this video is for you. Now, there are many different ways you can word your invitation. You can use formal wording. You can use informal. If your parents or your family um, are paying for your wedding, then you can, you know, add your parents or your family. So I've just wrote out, you know, a couple of ways that you can do your invitation. Um, and this is going to be a very short video. There is some background noise going on. It is a bunch of rain. We are in the middle of Hurricane Henri here in New York City. So I apologize ahead of time for the noise. Let's go ahead and get into the video. We're going to start off with wording your invitation if your parents or your family will be paying for or uh, partly paying for your wedding. So for this one here on the left, this one, um, I just worded it together with our families, Lisa and Jeffrey, invite you to witness the celebration of our wedding. And then you want to keep your date and your day, the year and your time. This is very formal. This is a formal invitation. So if you're not looking for something that's formal, then you're you're going to want to change that up, which I do have another way to do that. Excuse the uh, message over here. Now, if your parents are paying for your wedding, this one here is just for like if your family, say it's your aunt and uncle or grandmother, grandfather, then you could word it this way. If your parents are paying for your wedding, then you will want to list your parents' names of both uh, partners. So your bride and groom, groom and groom, bride and bride, whatever it is, you want to list both of your parents on the invitation. Now, there will be times where, you know, your parents, um, you might have a step parent or maybe a parent unfortunately has deceased. Then you can just list that one living parent. And you can still list that deceased parent also. You can also list it, list your step parent as well. So for this one, I just did um, Mr. and Mrs. Darren Smith along with Dr. and Mrs. Alexander Smith. You always want to put the uh, male's name. Now, if it is two um, females or two males, then, you know, you can word it how you choose to word that. But if it is a male and a woman, a man and a woman, then you want to list the man's name first. And then um, the woman's name is not listed because she has taken on the man's name. Uh, we have Lisa Smith and John Smith are united in marriage. And still, you want to keep it very formal down here with the uh, date. For your location and address, I just put Central Park, 105 Fifth Avenue. You want to write out the words Fifth Avenue. You do not want to put the number with a th and then av and then for the city new york new york you want to write out new york new york if you were having your wedding in chicago illinois you would put chicago illinois you would not write out chicago il you want to keep it very formal now if you're looking for something that is informal you can go with whatever you choose. You can write it out however you want to write it out. If you're not, if your parents are not paying for your wedding or your family is not paying for your wedding, then you can keep it very formal. And I just wrote something out right here. Um, Mr. or Lisa Smith and John Williams invite you to celebrate in their love Saturday, September 3rd, 2022 at four o'clock PM. It is very informal. As you can see, I wrote out Saturday, September 3rd. I abbreviated September. Let me just zoom in there. I abbreviated September 3rd, 2022. Now, as you can see from this invitation over here, how formal this one is. Everything is written out. September 3rd, the 3rd of September, 2022 at half past four in the afternoon versus this one over here. Saturday, September 3rd, 2022 at four o'clock p.m. Very informal. Also, the Central Park location down here, 105 Fifth Ave, 
New York, New York. Very informal. So there are two ways. There's actually more than two ways, but these are the two ways that I decided to do for this video at the request of Bison Plays. Also, if you, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting Xbox notifications on my computer. I, I'm playing Call of, I play Call of Duty and I'm being summoned right now by my friends to get on the video or to get on Call of Duty. I'm so sorry about that. But back to the video, um, there are more, more than one ways that you can style and word your invitation. You can word it any way you want. There is no wrong way to do your invitation. Make it your own. And the rain is coming down a lot harder now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here watching the video again. And um, my next video is also a request from Bison Plays. I'm going to be foiling an invitation that I'm actually doing for a client. I'm foiling the invitation with uh, gold foil using my Heidi Swap Mink. So stay tuned for that video. It is coming up in the next couple of days. And until then, stay safe, stay well, stay blessed. Thank you.